Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I'm just checking in on you. Haven't been able to do that in a while. You know why? Because old Freckles finally went to the doctor. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got some pneumonia in my freckled lungs. Sorry. Um, anyway, as promised, you know, I mentioned on the Monday morning podcast that um, I felt a certain way about the way the lovely Nia was or possibly was not taking care of me. Oh, Mwah. we're backtracking a little. Huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Go ahead. Yes. Well, I, I didn't want to just hit the ground running. Sure. I, want, I wanted to give you a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm teasing it here, Neil. Okay, I'm okay. a professional. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, how I, there's a thing out there that women say a lot is that guys are babies when they're sick. And at one point you said to me that you felt I was being dramatic and I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking to myself, like, I have fucking pneumonia. Like, I you, First of all, I didn't say that you were being dramatic. I said that you were having a pity party. And also, this is before we knew that you had pneumonia. So can we just jump in? Yeah, and what was my pity party? All right, I will explain that. See, first of all, just relax. Is, no, this, I'm not relaxed. Oh, shit. I need shit. to come on here and defend myself because I didn't listen to your little trash ass podcast on Monday. But I know <laughs> what you said about me. Okay. What you, I didn't say anything. Let me explain something. <laughs> oh, I said a few God. things. God. Um, let me explain a few things. Okay. Please do. Because I'm a little confused comes, over here. Yeah, you're very confused about a lot of things. Oh, snap. I, <laughs> When you get sick, who's all over you trying to get you better? And don't say nobody, because we know that that's not true. That's the first answer I thought of. Really? I'm always bringing you water, bringing you tea. Take this, take this, take this. And you're like, what? What is this? What are you having me take? What does it do? What? Like, you, you're always <laughs> pushing back. I tell you, rest. You need to just chill out. You need to do nothing all day. You are crazy, and you can't do that. You're like, ah, I'm going to go play drums for like half an hour. You're out there for an hour. Boo, ba, boo, ba, boo, do ba, boo, boo. And it's just like, <laughs> you're not taking the time to. And then when I oh. get sick, I'm like, shut everything down. I don't do shit. I can feel how annoyed you are at me. But that's why I get over stuff quickly. I don't get annoyed at so, you when you get sick. You get annoyed at me. I can tell you have like a little like thing with me where I'm like, I have a cough. I'm not going to do anything. And you're kind of look at me like, ooh, because you and your scrunchy shoulders up like that whole thing that you do, that whole German Irish. Let's just plow through it type of thing. And I can be feeling miserable, but I won't do anything about it. That's the thing. You won't do anything about it. You really thought about I this. Make you, because I was going to come on here and defend myself. Whenever you get sick, I am always telling you, you need to drink more water. Take this and take that. You're always pushing back on me. You never listen to me about just being still and resting and trying to sleep. You're on your what phone. Is, what is this? You're on your phone or computer watching your 10th, like, you know, uh, top 10 crocodile attacks from 2017 or whatever weirdo it's a videos. great year for crocodile attacks. <laughs> <laughs> whatever weirdo videos you're watching or with some monotone guy being like, Jimi Hendrix was bored and blah, 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 blah. And like doing some weird, like documentary things that you watch on YouTube. You're not really resting yourself and you don't get better. So you had a cold to begin with. You had a cold. Yes. And a had a respiratory infection. No, who said that? Did you go to a doctor? No, I went on the Until internet. Until I and made that, you and go that. to urgent care? First of all, the, the reason... You went on the, the internet reason, and the, what? You went on the internet and what? Well, people told me that there was that R... People who? People who got sick. Okay. Said that there was that, that thing that wasn't COVID, because at first I thought I had COVID, and then it wasn't COVID, but I could feel it was in my chest, and they said there's something going around... It, it's a cough that lasts for 10 days. It's a, it's a respiratory virus thing. It's RSV. RSV. So I feel like I had that. And because I was editing a fucking movie yes. and doing a stand-up tour mm -hmm. and getting ready for fucking Thanksgiving in the holiday season, doobie doobie doo, uh -huh. I didn't have time mm -hmm. to go to the doctor. Okay. Fine. You didn't have time that's, to go to the doctor. That's what I was saying. Because we thought we were just sort of dealing with, yeah, an RSV cold situation. But I did tell you. Wait a minute. We didn't think that. I just told you that I had that. And now you're acting like you were in on that. Okay. I just thought that you had a cold. And then, yes, it developed into pneumonia because you had to go on the road. You had to do this. But did you or did you not tack on a Vegas trip after your last tour? The Vegas trip was already on the books. Okay. 
my buddies from high school, we came out. I, I, you know, they don't give you tickets anymore. It's all on your phone. It was all on my phone. Okay. If I didn't go out there, that was going to happen. And then I stayed at Bally's Total Fitness fucking <laughs> casino. And for whatever reason, the heat wasn't working in my room. And they had the air conditioning cranked because it was switching over from Bally's to the horseshoe. It's now called horseshoe. They had horseshoes in the carpet. Did like, you ask anybody to like come up and like fix the I did. And I them? did, and they did. And how many cigars did you smoke on that trip? One. Okay. Then you came. I didn't home. know I had pneumonia. That's of course you didn't know that you had pneumonia. I was then over at Caesars, home. and they treated me right, dude. And then you came home, and you had another outing that you did with some family. How many cigars did you smoke then? Three quarters of one. Three quarters of one. Okay. Now. That's like nothing for me. The next day, I told you, because you were feeling terrible, you were coughing violently. Your head, I told you to go Why to Why was it violently? Care. You were coughing violently. I had a really bad like, cough. Well, that seems no, like you're the victim in that. Cough. It feels like no, you're the victim. No, no, it's not about victims. It's about like how harsh it was. You were coughing violently. You were coughing like you had the fucking plague. I said to you, you should go. I was coughing so to, hard, I got a headache. Yes. I told you, you should go to urgent care. You went out and had coffee with some people instead. And I said to you, while I wasn't going to go to urgent care while my family was in town and make them fucking sit there for three hours while some guy gave me penicillin. But while you were, while they were here visiting, you did go upstairs and you were in your room for like three hours chilling out as you should have. But I'm just saying, if you were willing to spend that time to do that here, you could have gone to urgent care. You didn't. No, but he was leaving the next day. So I, 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 I went then. I went then. Okay. I, I went there. But what is this shit? Where I, when, when was I being like overly dramatic or having a pity party? Because oh, I remember. I remember because I was fucking sick and you don't stop your plans. You still go out. <laughs> you put on your big Elton John glasses and your Happy New Year hat. You're like, okay. And you drop a cup of fucking Alka-Seltzer in a fucking glass of water. And then now all of a sudden you're Florence Nightingale. So what, but what more am I supposed to do for you other than make sure you have what you need? And then like, uh, let, like you wait, you wait till you get no, pneumonia no, no, and no, I no, still no, go no, out. No, no, no. You wait till I get pneumonia. You... I still go out. And then when you bitch about it, no. I say you're having a pity party. No. No. What I do you mean no? There's no no there. There's no no there. There's no no there. You started going on about how I wasn't taking care of you and this and that and the other when that was You not sent true. up that fucking airport level fucking room temperature untoasted oh, we're bagel. Talking about the bagel? We're talking about that, the bagel. And I had to ask our daughter to go down and get me something to eat. I pulled up the text messages of when you asked me for a bagel, I texted you two minutes later because, uh, by the way, I was setting up a whole bagel platter for your family and feeding our children because you were upstairs sick. I answered you two minutes later and I said, do you want just the bagel or do you want capers and logs and a bagel sandwich? And you said bagel sandwich. So I made it. I gave it to our daughter. She brought it up to you while I could stay downstairs. with That our bagel did not family. come until I asked our daughter to go downstairs and get it. She didn't Text or no it. text. She didn't ask me for it. Well, maybe she forgot to ask me for it, but I'll she agree didn't to ask disagree. Me for it. But I can tell you right no, no, now, I felt I we talked about it before, <laughs> and now you're trying to switch. I it up. felt like I was flying Southwest Airlines that level. The, that that fucking bagel it looks like it was in somebody's back well, pocket. I didn't make the bagel. Of course I you didn't. Like, <laughs> you post made it. I didn't. Somebody brought it over, and I like reheated it and made a whole bagel sandwich. The point is, my point is, with you, when it comes don't to fucking being point sick, your face at me. <laughs> if you're sick. You will still go out and do the things that you want to do. It's called working and providing for a family. Now, I'm not talking about work. I'm talking about every other little extracurricular thing that you think that you can handle. What the fuck else did I do? For the last seven fucking weeks, I went golfing once and I went to a football game. That's it. You Other than that, go to football game. You went to Vegas. You had a whole like Vegas trip. I'm not saying that you were out all night carousing because I know you don't do. I you're, wasn't. I was in Bally's too, coughing my fucking brains out, and, and I'm 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 worried about the person who has that fucking room after me. <laughs> oh, were you worried about us when you were coughing into the blanket that we have on the couch that we all snuggle with? When you were coughing into it? Oh, and let's then, get into that. Let's get into you, that. Then what I said to you, stop coughing into the blanket. You had the nerve to be annoyed at me and like look at your, your brother and be like, can you fucking believe this? Like, like it's wild. Because I'll tell you, once you knew, I you knew, knew I, but you knew I was fucking sick. But, so you what? knew I was, time out. You knew I was fucking sick. Yes. And then when you knew I had pneumonia, you were still going, can you help bring the fucking kids table up from the basement? Can you put the fucking star in the tree? Can you do this? Every time I sat down, you made me get up like lies. I was fucking, it's not lies. Lies. 
Yes. Oh my god. All right. But All right. when you this Okay. And this whole thing was after I had forced you to go to urgent care and sat in urgent care and waited with you while you got everything. You didn't you force me. I had the time to do it and I did it. That does but this is my point. You have to make the time for your health. I can't care more. No, that is right. You. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Okay? But I'm saying and you can you, can, you have a can I finish no, a no. fucking thought? No, you can't. You have a history of not taking the time to take care of yourself. And then when it gets really, really bad, somehow I'm at fault because I'm not taking care of you enough. All right, time out. When the fuck, when was the last time I got that fucking sick? Years. Yeah, years. Years. Yeah. I got COVID this earlier this fucking year. I was, I was a gem. I didn't fucking say anything. I had no pity party. I didn't fucking anything. All you right. You weren't as sick with COVID as you were with the pneumonia. That's for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you were still the fucking job bank, just giving out fucking jobs like I was at the unemployment office. I don't understand why this idea of you being like an equal partner in this relationship and having like duties. I'm not an equal partner. I'm your personal assistant. You're not my friend. And I feel like women, a lot of you think that we're babies when we get sick because you guys go fucking above and beyond when the kids get sick. But when your husband gets sick, you're just looking at it like, why is the personal assistant not personally assisting right now? No, that's not what it is. It's because you are, you guys are fucking stubborn about doing what you need to do in order to get sick and to get better. Providing and, a, a, a and providing for a family. It, it, no. Everybody, that's providing for a family. Finishing a tour in a fucking movie. Go. No, that's not what you it is. You think if I had all the November off, I wouldn't have gone over to fucking urgent care? You took time off from doing ADR because you were sick. So you were clearly made a choice to not go do certain work. Things. But I didn't realize I was that sick. I know. But my point is you still have to like do that every single time. And then when it gets worse, that's when it starts. I feel like. The, so then when it gets the worse. And babyish happens when from the jump, you should have been doing the things that I've been telling you. And we go through this when did every I time complain? you get sick. Wait, get the fuck out of here. When did I complain? <laughs> that whole fucking time. Wait a minute. Get the fuck out of here. I never complained. Okay, when would you say that you started complaining? When you, you started to feel like somewhere along the line, I just sort of like left you out to dry and like didn't care about you. I felt that once we knew I had pneumonia, mm-hmm. I thought that I was going to get pneumonia attention. And I felt I got head... William's pneumonia? William, Williams and pneumonia. You immediately <laughs> gave me a hilarious nickname. But I didn't feel like I got even remotely... I, I got, like, you, you treated me like I had a fucking sore throat. You got me going up and down a goddamn ladder on a fucking tree. What's wrong with you? I didn't have you. What, what did you up and down? I just want asked you to put the star on the tree. Knowing I had pneumonia. Can I ask you a question? Do you have the ability to unfold a fucking step you ladder? Were, time out. Time I'm not out. I'm tall enough. Huh? I'm not tall enough. I tried to do it myself. I'm not tall enough. And the tree you got was leaning back, so I couldn't get the top. I'm not I tall got the enough. Fat Joe one. The what? I got the Fat Joe tree. Lean back. Oh, God. Lean back. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, whatever. You know, I, I'm not going to fucking ask you for shit. How about that? BB. You fucking warm ass goddamn bagel. That looked like somebody fucking stepped on it. I hope you know. The only thing that was missing was that bullshit saran that wrap that you find at those fucking things where they got that, that tuna fish sandwich. You know one of those pre made sandwiches at the airport? That's yeah. what the fuck he sent up. Happy pneumonia. I. Did what I needed to do. Yeah, you took a glass of water and you put two fucking cold medicine things in there. (laughs) You gave me some bullshit bagel with fucking half a flounder on it and some capers. (laughs) And you said, go to fucking urgent care. And other than that, we're just going to progress like it's normal fucking business. Mm -hmm. You're still going to do all the fucking jobs I need you to do. I need you to do for the fucking holidays and when you when everything's finally all set and the family's sitting down and fucking the Grinch is carving up the fucking goose you then said to me I said I got a splitting headache you go well, go, go to bed yeah yeah get the fuck you, out of here after I did all of that work unbelievable did all that work you brought the table up with my father's help it's not like you did it by yourself you had somebody else helping you put it up you could have easily done that with him that it wasn't heavy it was just awkward I was doing other stuff. What? To prepare oh, for Oh, delegating? The Is delegating? How many calories do you burn delegating? I don't know. I hope it's a lot, though, because I do a lot of delegating. You are a good delegator. So bringing the t- a child's size table up with my father and putting a star See what she's doing there? See what she's doing? Tree, Knocking it down? asking you to do all these jobs. Oh, no, there was all kinds of other fucking things. Like what? 
I don't remember. Every time I sat down, How you're like, convenient. can you do this? Can you do that? Can you, like, literally is my ass hit the fucking seat. Don't cough into the blanket. Put the star on the thing. Can you help with this? Can you fucking go get Why this? Why would you cough into the blanket on the couch that we all snuggle with? You coughed into the blanket and you got annoyed with me for telling you to not cough in the blanket. That's Everybody not why knows. I got annoyed. Why I got annoyed was the 90 things that preceded that. And then on top of that, you're talking to me about how I need to be sick. Okay? It was. How you need to be sick? Yeah. Like, don't cough here, cough over there. <laughs> I'm just saying not to cough in the blanket.